So the great race is on. We have just left our house. It's about seven o'clock on a Friday. Yep. And we are in a little race. We're taking 80 from Michigan. We're gonna be staying the other side of Estes Park area, Rocky Mountain National Park, if you know the area. And then our friends, fellow hiker owners, Dwayne and Teresa, they left about the same time we did from their house. They're in Ohio. We're gonna see who can get there first. So we've been sending them zingers, keeping ourselves awake, having a lot of fun with it, right? Yep. On our way to Chicago, Iowa, Nebraska, then the mountains. Can't wait to see the mountains. Yep, you got it. Yes, folks, it is a hiker 2022 great race. It's on. <laughs> We're heading west, folks. Leaving Ohio for the great state of Colorado. We're gonna stop in Kansas, click our heels, call out Auntie M and look for Toto. And most importantly, we're gonna beat the DeWitts there. So remember, <laughs> get out and, and do, do some, some camping. camping. Hey, Dwayne and Teresa, you guys are so slow on the highway that you get parking tickets while you're driving. Oh, see you in Colorado. Hey, Matt and Wendy, you guys are so slow that the sun's setting on you. We're moving right along that the sun's actually rising on us. So what's a great race without having a little bit of weather? As we approached Iowa, we approached a big thunderstorm line. You know, with a name like DeWitt and all the rain they bring, maybe it should be called Do It and not DeWitt because it's always wet and moist when we camp with them. Matt and Wendy do it. After pulling off the highway for a brief 10 minute stop where the thunderstorm line went through, we got back on the road and the zingers continued. Who's your daddy? Welcome to Indiana! This is how we spend our evening. As Dwayne became delirious from lack of sleep, we decided to pull over at the I-80, world's largest truck stop. This is a pretty cool place to visit. Think you could drive one of those? Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Hey Wendy, can We're I get some more lights? No. Can I get some more lights? Can I get some more lights? Look at all these beautiful lights. I want some more lights. These would be perfect on the trailer. <laughs> well, this is where we slept last night. Drove to 1 a.m., exhausted, stopped at the Iowa truck stop and uh, we were just exhausted. Nice thing about the hiker, opened the doors, jumped in, right to sleep. So, worked out well. You awake? I am. I wasn't last night. I was so ready for bed. But now I've got my sleep and I am ready to go. So what's on the agenda today? So our goal is to get to Colorado. We're just like on the border of Nebraska and Colorado. So according to the map, that's about nine and a half hours. So we'll see how long that actually takes. Hey, Dwayne, what did the male wind turbine say to the female turbine when they're on a date? What? The male turbine said, you blow my mind. Ah, booch. It's one of the famous shots you see at truck stops with hiker owners is you see the hiker in between a couple semis. It is kind of funny, it's kind of comical because of how small the trailer is compared to these big semis. But we're on 80, we're making good time just outside Des Moines. And we're gonna check back in with Dwayne Tree Sud a little bit. Just got out to stretch our legs. I think we're gonna have windy drive for a little bit. My dirt drive. Hey guys. What was Forrest Gump's computer password? One, Forrest, one. As we entered Nebraska, we were in complete cloud cover as that passing rainstorm came through. They had complete hey, sunshine. Hey, Matt and Wendy. How are you guys passing the time on this fun, fun trip? I get to listen to Dwayne's dad jokes. And, as you can see, I've got the Pioneer knitting going. Hey, Dwayne, I was going to do a joke about cornfields. But it was really corny, so I chose not to. I'm just not a fan of cornfields because they're kind of eerie. You know what I'm saying? 
So, I'm getting the dad jokes too. It's not just you, Teresa. Pioneer Woman's knit me a sweater. <laughs> it's gonna be cold, Colorado. You know it. We're taking the rain and cold with us. Well, Pioneer Woman, I'm coming for you. I've been busy and I'm busy. Guess what? I'm making. I'm way ahead of you. Little snippy, snippy. I've got a good little surprise. I'm already done. Let's see, what did I make? Ooh, look at that nice shirt. Woo! As the delirium set in from the long drive, the zingers got crazier and crazier. We were doing anything we can to pass the time. Good job driving. Any surprises? No. I need to apologize to Iowans. I always complain and tease it's flat and cornfields. And I got yeah. half of that right. It's definitely cornfields, but it's very rolly. Up and down, up and down. Yep. So, but definitely the cornfields. Boy, this loves is busy. We are going to have a little lunch here. Find the keys to the hiker. So, Wendy typically puts everything in plastic tubs. And then if you get a container it breaks open, kind of like this one. So which what's which one was the culprit? This one right here. What are the drinks? There's probably like this much left in it. The rest of it was in the bottom of the top. So one of the drinks split a leak and then it just filled the tub. And everything in it got a little coated, but it's mainly drinks. A couple of boxes that are <laughs> gonna be a little ruined. Thankfully it's in its own plastic bag, so it so, should be okay. Part of the adventure. Sure is. <laughs> Hey, Teresa and Dwayne, we finally got on the road where we have sunshine. After getting back on the road and the sunshine cracking through the clouds, we received the sad news around 1 p.m. that we had lost the great race. <laughs> Dwayne and Teresa sent us a message with a Colorado sign in the background. About two to three hours later, we entered the great straight. state of Colorado. Yeah. It was time to find a place a to bit camp. Further. All right, that looks good. Let me check level. Well, good morning. We have had just an awesome start to this day. It's Sunday. We arrived here to Pruitt Wildlife Refuge, I believe it's called. It's a boondocking site and it's just gorgeous. In the dark last night, we had a hard time kind of figuring out where we were, but we found a spot fairly quickly. The agenda today is to make some breakfast, and we got about 2.5 hours to meet up with some friends. Okay, first day in Colorado, what's your thoughts? It is gorgeous. Yep. It's not disappointing at all. Nope. Even without the mountains. Yep. We'll get there later today though. So what'd you make? Tortilla boats, a little egg, onion, garlic, bacon, and some goat cheese. Okay, Colorado. I'd love to take some of this beautiful state back with me, but this is a little ridiculous. So if you know what these are officially called, Thorns, thistles, foot stabbers, I don't know, but put it down in the comments, I'd be curious. Ridge Campground. Um, took this beautiful scenic drive. Uh, big sheer rocks on both sides. Follows a little uh, river. Not sure what river. 
just want to tell you, since we are here and having lunch, I think officially we arrived first. No, we've been we've been set up for tw over twelve hours. Oh <laughs> man, are you serious? You've been set up for over twelve hours. Uh, and your site is paid for up there. Oh, all right. You haven't paid down here. You officially have won the race, <laughs> the great race. <laughs> did you uh, did you almost forget to chalk the wheels? I did. I think Dwayne was making me nervous. <laughs> it's a good thing we have a camping buddy that helped us. Remembering to uh, chuck the wheels, we would have been rolling down the hill. Well, we had this curb here, it wouldn't have gone too far. We had a quick lunch, and then what did we find out? Our friends already had reservations for us. <laughs> so we had to change lots. Well, we didn't have to, but we chose to change lots. Yep. So, packed so it all here up. we are, and they are right over there. So, Got a nice view here. Got a picnic table. Got a campfire. Bear box. And there's a grill. Currently we're under the awning. It is raining just ever so lightly. Sounds like it's the typical mountain rain. So we're on lot two. Our friends are over there. There's Wendy over there waving. And they thought, oh, okay. We're gonna go surprise them. Gonna... It looks like they're busy planning over there. <laughs> planning the next adventure. What's the plan? They're gonna get up bright and early tomorrow. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yes. Seriously? Head up to Bear Creek. Yeah, because you have to. You either have to have a pass or you have to get there before 5 a.m. Without a pass. Wow. So they don't have a pass. But you don't have a pass. You couldn't get one. Are you gonna be able to get up at 4 a.m.? Of course. Well, I'm just going to go back to the trailer and go to sleep now. That we're <laughs> and this is what we're knitting this time. What is it? Socks. Oh, cool. For Dwayne. For Dwayne. Nice. Yeah. So she was measuring his foot before he came over yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, you missed the fun part to make sure. Sock off, sock on, sock <laughs> off. One thing I had forgotten about Colorado was the chipmunks. They are everywhere. And you got to make sure your food, your paper goods, Anything was sent is totally up and out of the way. They climb into the fire pits, they grab the trash, they scatter it around. Always have to be prepared for the little micro bears. So that afternoon after setting up, we went down into Estes Park for a little dinner. So what pies did we get for tonight? Triple berry. Mm, very good. And mango raspberry. That is a very interesting combo. Which pies did you guys get? Uh, rhubarb. Rhubarb, what pie did you get? 3.146662358743. Blackberry. Ooh. So our next stop was a drive by the Stanley Hotel from the movie The Shining. We took a little drive by and then we got treated with seeing some elk down in the meadows. So if you haven't figured out by now, Teresa is a woman of many talents. One of her life hacks is taking an Altoids tin and putting your favorite teas in them. I had to do this myself. Well, good morning. Got back, had a little campfire, settled in for the night. Our friends took off. They're doing some hikes today. We're driving into Denver. Got some stuff to take care of. arrived at Hiker Colorado.
Good morning. Well, it's a chilly one this morning. Got down into the 40s. So, plan is today is we had to get a pass for Rocky Mountain National Park. And our slot is from, I think it was 9 to 11. So, getting some breakfast going. It is Tuesday morning and we are exploring Trail Ridge Road in Rocky Mountain National Park. We're at the Many Parks Curve, but pretty cool to see it from here. We have made it to Rainbow Curve. Not quite sure how we made it because Matt was holding onto the steering wheel like this and not looking anywhere but at the road. <laughs> but we made it and the view is definitely worth it. It's a nice view up here, but yep. I honestly don't know how I made it up here. We made it though. So I appreciate you doing this even though you hate these kind of drives. My nerves are rattled. <laughs> She tricked me. Just didn't tell the whole truth. You tricked me. I just said we're gonna go for a drive through the park. Yeah. This Which is not we are. this is not no little drive through the park. It's a drive through the park, is all I told yeah, you. Whatever. <laughs> You're in the all mountains, right. what do you expect? Let's If you're adventurous, we're at the Alpine Visitor Center on almost the end of the park. See the scenic trail way up there. We made it to the Alpine Visitor Center. It is definitely high up here. I think we're about 11,700 feet up here, but it's gorgeous. We're in the tundra, so no trees, just the low growing plants at this point. So how was I driving through the passes? Um, just want to make sure I'm not going to burn up our brakes. So you're telling me and giving me hints, just go slow. Other than that, I'm doing fine. And I start getting over that tree line area, mm -hmm. it starts to really freak me out. So we got up there and we went around a bend. Then there's a point where I just couldn't do it anymore. I just told her I can't do this. I'm my fear and phobia kicked in and it was like a panic attack it was just like i can't do this so we pulled over and she drove the rest of the way um, so i it was either he freaks out and continues driving and we don't go anywhere or i take over yep and now we found a beautiful little picnic area it tested us that's for sure yes but it. we survived we've come out on the other end it's all an adventure right we're gonna go check out this place looks pretty cool Like I'm still moving. <laughs> I feel like you're still moving. <laughs> yeah, I do too. <laughs> like, whoa, touch my balance. Yep. Oh. When you forget your knife to make your tortilla roll, you use a carrot to splatter on the dressing. It works. Better than use my finger.
afternoon shower has occurred. It is Tuesday. Got back from seeing our bow moose and our elk and our deer. Friends got back. We did a nice hike. So what's on the agenda tonight, Wendy? Our new popular thing to do on all of our trips is the marinated mushrooms and some little mini potatoes. So just getting started here. And then some carrots and dip. That's Gotta get our veggies. The go-to meal. It is. It's quick and easy. This is definitely one of my favorite meals. What do I spy over here? Someone's cleaning the dishes. If you don't clean the dishes, then the cook will never cook again. So you're saying you want me to keep cooking? I want you to keep cooking so I have to help and participate in some form or fashion. That is very much appreciated. So I am doing the dishes tonight. Thank you. Because we have about three days worth of dishes that we've collected. Yep. So we've got a little stack of them to do. It was about time to get it done. Yep. Getting up this morning, a little on the chilly side. Got some hot chocolate going. Wendy's making some egg sandwiches. Agenda today is we're gonna get started. We got a pass for Rocky, Rocky Mountain National Park today. We're gonna be going in and hiking a couple of lakes. Bear Lake area, and we're gonna hike Nymph Lake and Dream Lake. And uh, then go from there. there, might be a waterfall we're gonna check out after that. Kinda see how time permits. So, Pioneer Woman, Teresa. Got me with food in my mouth again. <laughs> it's the best. So she has homemade Spam. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's gonna go on our sandwiches this morning. Spam is good. Mm, what's for breakfast? Some medium hot peppers, right up your alley. Some Spam, <laughs> <laughs> scrambled eggs with cheese milk to them. Mm. Wow, look at that. That looks good. So in order to enter Rocky Mountain National Park, you need a park pass. This allows you a two hour window opportunity to get into the park. You can leave at any time. So we got our pass. We headed up to the Bear Lake shuttle service. The shuttle took us to our hikes. We are at Bear Lake today. So we're headed out to Nymph Lake, um, Dream Lake, and then heading over to a Alberta Falls. So, should be a good day. Beautiful weather, sunny. Should have brought my sunglasses, but it should be a great day. We made it to Nymph Lake. Yep, beautiful lake. Mm -hmm. Looks fairly shallow, a lot of lilies. Mm -hmm. So, but yep. it was about a half mile hike? Yeah, uphill. About a half mile straight up. <laughs> now, what's the next one we're going to? To Dream Lake. Dream Lake is next. Yep. Goes right from this trail. Another half mile to Dream Lake. Dream Lake. The clouds behind us are getting a little dark though, so it's making us nervous that it might start raining. Um, we've done 416 foot elevation from the parking lot to get up here, so on the way back it should be pretty much downhill. So hopefully it'll go a little faster. Uh, it's raining. It's too late. You can see it <laughs> on the water. <laughs> All right, what just happened? We made it to Dream Lake, which was beautiful up there. 
but it started thundering. No lightning, but it started thundering and the raindrops started falling. Yep. So we decided it would be safer with the thunder if we made our way down. Below, into the trees, not above the trees. But it's amazing how many people are still heading up. Mm -hmm. But now we're debating what to do for the rest of our hike. Do we continue on or do we go back to the car? What yep. do you think? I don't know. Uh, no. My uh. vote is if it's just a light rain to keep on hiking. So the mountains are the only place you can have blue skies on one side, gray on the other, and a big old shower right above you. Hey. Well, I just lay down somewhere around here and take a little nap. Yeah. Listening to the, the water sounds. Wow. So we're on our way back from Alberta Falls, catching the bus to bring us back to the car. Um, yeah, I pushed Matt to just over four miles today. I don't think he knew we were going to do quite that many. I don't always tell, him, me. Don't always tell him the whole truth, otherwise he may not want to go with me. Yes, I'm admitting it. So we'll have to get you some ice tonight. So just as we got done shooting this clip, we knocked one of our hiking poles down into the water. Because of my knee condition, Wendy had to make the trip down around the bridge and try to recover the hiking pole. So we got back from the shuttle, we treated ourselves with a quick cat nap and a couple of snacks. We got back on the road, caught this mama turkey and her little babies crossing the road. It's quite the sight. So on the way back to camp, we explored a couple areas for bighorn sheep, but we came up empty. We made our way back to camp. One of our camping accessories is our Ignic fire pit. That night, we invited Dwayne and Teresa over, had a great night shooting pictures of the stars, just enjoying each other's company one last time before we packed up. Good morning. Today is Thursday. I think on the agenda is we're going to be possibly go and look at a historic church down the road um, pretty famous in this area Rocky Mountain National Park was absolute blast um, we're gonna be packing up today getting things loaded up moved down to the Loveland area the Overland show is this weekend looking forward to meeting a lot of new people and getting to see a lot of cool products with a lot of cool vendors so that's kind of the plan today Thanks, Thanks, Matt, Matt and Wendy, Wendy for, for joining, joining us on, on our, our adventure. adventure. Remember, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys, I think with that, that's, that's going to be a wrap for this trip. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Come on, down. Oh, you. Thanks. <laughs> we appreciate you guys joining. If you haven't realized already, we're having a good time. Yes. So. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. If you got any questions, put it down in the comments. And like we always say... Get out yeah, and do, do some camping. camping. <laughs> Take care, guys. <laughs> Take number 25. About 25 takes of trying to shoot the exit to that video, we decided to play one last round of cards with our friends. So if you ever played Uno, there's certain rules that you can add. Sometimes people call it dirty Uno. Some people call it spicy Uno. With this, you create rules where you can't talk. If you lay a certain card, you have to exchange a whole hand with another player. Or you can pile on the draw twos and draw fours all day long. The problem we were having is when we'd get heavily laughing, it would cause headaches due to the elevation. So this was a constant joke the whole weekend long. 
Also, we found it very interesting that you can go into Estes Park and actually buy a can of oxygen. This was something that I think was definitely needed during this card playing. At one point, my watch detected I had fallen and I couldn't get up. So I had to make sure I turned it off before emergency services were contacted. <laughs> it said, do you want to hit SOS? Are you okay? Do we need to notify somebody? I forgot to yeah. Yeah. Yeah.